Hello, and welcome to the Lang's 60 Day Reboot. Today is day 35. So we are rolling down that hill, getting closer to the end of the finish line. So, how are you doing? I'm really excited. This, I is, didn't... this is Laura, by the way. Hi, Laura, nice to meet you. Oh wait, we've been doing this for 35 days. You know <laughs> who I am. Um, anyway, so I didn't weigh myself really yesterday when we were over in Chicago. And then this morning, I was in such a hurry with getting kids to school, I didn't weigh again until the middle of the day, which is really a bad time to weigh if you're trying to get the lowest weight. And even at the lowest time of the day, it said that I had lost two pounds. So, awesome, finally broke the 170s into the 160s. Yay! How are you doing? Good. Um, I weighed myself this morning and I had lost two pounds from two days ago. So I averaged a pound a day like I've been doing, which and is great. And that's normal for you. But what's really cool is that I hit my 40 pounds lost today. Oh, yay. So now I'm <laughs> down to 142. I started at 182. And so hopefully within three days, I should be down into the 130s, which is kind of what I'm 130s. really excited about. 130s. How about two thirties? You keep saying that. Whatever, you guys know what I mean. Man, you're anorexic. I'm really. Concerned. I want to be. I want to be like Laura. So she's <laughs> wants to go down to the one thirties. Anyway, no. I mean, I haven't been to the two thirties for a very long time. Um, so I'm excited to go back there. And I was telling Laura today that actually it's really interesting. Part of my process through this thing is, I, I guess, I had kind of come to accept that I would always be a very big, fat person. And um, so, as I'm losing the weight, as things are kind of as the, as the pounds are coming off, I'm trying to figure out what this actually means for me that I'm never going to be fat again because I'm going to make healthy choices from now on, and we're going to be healthy from now on. And so, it's kind of a hard process, but it's it's pretty cool because my clothes keep on getting bigger, and the other ones that were small begin to fit now. And yeah, it's just kind of cool. It's a great feeling. So I worked out with Amy, my trainer today at Gold's Gym. And I am sore as could be, mm. but it's a really good sore. Um, I'm really starting to enjoy my workouts. Amy and I are heckling at each other while we do it. <laughs> um, and I'm really starting to feel the difference. It's hard. It's hard. But it's great hard. It's uh, mm -hmm. one of those good, you work hard, you feel like, man, I really did something worthwhile. Yeah. So I think I'll probably feel it tomorrow, but I'm feeling really good. Amy Bracey, you're awesome. And I worked out this morning too at Golden Express, and it was um, it was pretty hard as well. I, I, I was, my mine was self motivated. I mean, of course, we've been given a guide by our trainers, um, but it definitely was a challenge. So I came out with my arms and my legs feeling very weak, which is a good Check feeling. Check this puppy out. Woo wee! <laughs> Ow, there was some guy uh, lifting in the gym next to me, and I was telling Josh that the whole entire floor stopped and looked over, and there's this big old dude. He lifts 450 pounds. It was incredible. And I was like, check this puppy out. I do that in my out. sleep. It's not even a problem. I do it in my sleep. <laughs> Is that why you snore so loud? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the Tower O Juice. Actually, real quick here. We oh. shout out to Del Harris, um, a friend of ours from Moody. Um, and he was inspired by what we're doing. He actually bought a juicer and tried go, his Dale. first... Juicing meal tonight, so congrats, Dale. Yeah, hopefully this wasn't is a great Dale experience for you. Wasn't Dale in Stuco? Way to go, Stuco! Woo! Yeah, I wasn't in Stuco, but way to go! I was so. in Stuco. Live on forever, Stuco. <laughs> juice that juice. But it, it, excited that he's joining that, and we have many of you, um, also, maybe many others of you who are doing this, and so we're just encouraging to you to keep going and keep going. You can do it. Yep, yep. Thinking so, and praying Nancy today for you. And yeah. C view or C eighty view, right? And those kind of guys. Thanks for all, yeah, for following us and and for what you're doing as well. Yeah, it's encouraging. Stay encouraged. So hopefully it's getting easier for those of you who just began, and those kind of things. Anyway, on to the tower. Okay, welcome back to the tower, O juice. So tomorrow I'm, I have another dilemma. I'm traveling out of town for two days. Without me. Without her. So how do we do it with one juicer and two people? Right. So here it goes. Actually, Laura was a very gracious sweetheart this night, <laughs> and she helped me to juice. So what I had asked her to do it because I've kind of learned that if you mix it all together, it kind of tastes not as good as what you want it to be. So what I've done is I've kind of controlled the mixes, and Laura has juiced now individual blueberries. Blueberries. There's tomato. tomato, sweet potato, pineapple, and the greens, and the apple, and I think there's even some watermelon down watermelon. there. Watermelon, yeah. So, you know, now I have the options to mix together what I want it to mix. Um, if I feel like 
I'm having a hard time with some of the greens, I can go mostly fruits, or, you know, it depends on how I'm feeling, I can kind of mix and match based on what I want now. And but, note that they're in glass jars as well. Mm, that's right. Um, if you're going to travel, um, either have them in a stainless steel container, but glass is preferable. Don't do plastic because it's so porous. It can also take on some of the chemicals from the actual plastic. Mm -hmm. Glass is going to keep the nutrients the longest. Mm -hmm. So So now, this is not optimal because we're juicing them tonight. We just, the Lord just juiced these in the last hour, which means for the best nutrient kept, you should, it's 24 hours. But mm -hmm. So I'm going to be using this for two days. So just as a word of advice, this is not ideal, but when you don't have any other options, this is the best way to go. Because I don't know if we can really count on finding another place that will juice like we have one here in town, like naturally yours. Yeah. So We actually had a couple of people come to our seminar who were truckers, and this is how they do it. Um, he doesn't have a place to keep his juicer in the truck. You know, most places you could actually put a converter in there and maybe a battery mm -hmm. pack or whatever. If you truck a lot, you can take a juicer with you. You know, but that's a lot of work. So he just does the big, big ball jars and he carries it with him. But he was asking how much nutrients it actually loses after 24 hours. And it's, uh, what, 50% of it, I believe. Well, the jars help it to be less. So if you got plastic or whatever, that it will lose more. Yeah. The jars will help it to keep its nutrients for a longer period of time. So if you have to do this, this is the best way to go. Obviously, it'll be in a cooler and I'll keep it very well there. And I'm also i going to go by in the morning and buy some gallons of water because I could really use... I've been drinking so much water lately that I needed to have that, so... Lots of bathroom stops. Lots of bathroom stops. So anyway, going tomorrow to St. Louis, I will bring the camera with me and I will be vlogging to you from St. Louis um, where I'll be meeting my friends Alex and Rachel and my new team leader Jay and uh, we'll be having a great time over at Covenant Seminary, so... Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And I'm going to be so sad not to be on camera. Woo! Just kidding. I, I really <laughs> loathe being on camera, but you guys are all very nice to me, so thank you. Thanks for those of you who have been watching again. Uh, reminder, we have a seminar coming up. We do on Saturday, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be, I believe I'm talking about kids and nutrition and how to get your kids to eat healthy. So I'm really excited about this one because you can be creative and silly and funny, and that is just really a nice break for me with mm -hmm. all the nutrition information. So come join me. It's Saturday. Or it might be me. We'll see. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to fight for that one. Oh. Okay, one, Saturday two, at 10 a.m. Uh, oh, oh. It's going to be me. <laughs> Saturday at 10 a.m. <laughs> Root for your favorite opponent. <laughs> um, anyway, Saturday at 10 a.m. Naturally yours. Naturally one of us yours. will be there. That's right. That's right. So, <laughs> all right. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys. Bye.